peace of believers like oh my live every day like it's so tight Alright guys, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. Today we're going to be doing more side quests. And I noticed in the last two side quest videos, um, they were kind of shorter than my normal videos. Like 20 minutes or so or less. So in this one, I'm going to try to do a little bit more. And uh, I am a little bit stronger. I did a, I did a little bit of exploring off screen, but not that much. But I was able to get more gear slots, and I got the level two lockpick ability. So, let's get started. I'm going on an adventure. Okay, so we uh, we actually picked up this quest pretty early on, but we never got around to doing it. So I'm going to do it. I need to find the moth. Wait, there's a moth right there. Wait, is that the moth I need? Hold on a second. Lumos. There we go. That spot must be a clue. I, I should look around here. in case it's nearby. I've seen Zero do this, this one already. Like from the paint. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Yeah, I saw Zero do this one already, so it's gonna be a quick one. This also, there's also a lot more of these around the world, so this will open open up uh, an opportunity for me to do that. There was a connection. I should tell the Nora oh, that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Feel guy page, nice. All right, let's go tell her. My mother always responds to my confession. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Let's tell her. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. You're welcome. The moth. I should have seen that. Yes, you could have, but you didn't. All right. That was a quick one. Next side quest. All right, this one's a continuation of a uh, side quest we did before with Al. I think his name's Albie Weeks. Nice to see you again. Yes. Give me my broom upgrade. Oh wait, do I gotta? I gotta buy it. Okay, I guess. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I wasn't a broom. It was a broom upgrade. I must tell you. Half of Ogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Yeah, let's do it. But next time, I want that upgrade for free. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report All right, back as soon let's as you go. Can, and we'll be off to the races. If it isn't the fastest Gryffindor. Bring it. Hello, Amelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Let's do it. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. Decent, I crushed her last time. Getting the hang of this. Brilliant. Oh. 
I'm still not very good at flying. <laughs> Probably not going to beat her time. I'm not very good at this. Ugh. I'd say that was acceptable. I'm like barely making these. Excellent. Almost halfway done. We Oh, I'm not going to make I'm not going to make that. Ugh. Brilliant. We Brilliant. There are too many sharp turns here. Ugh. Oh. Ah. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Uh, go up. Uh. <laughs> I might I might just do it. I might just do it. Almost. I beat it. Destroyed her. What do you think about that, Emilda? You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally, I can't deny that. But, you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. No, I'll probably get my butt kicked on that one. Back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again. Visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. All right, time for the next side quest. Or actually, we got to go back Another to Albie Weeks. Flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Back from your latest flight. Yes, I, I am. All the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. You know what would be cool? Again, truly. If we were making these upgrades and, uh, like, this was kind of like the prototype of the Nimbus 2000 that we see in the first Harry Potter movie. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Hello, Adelaide. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh, dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Uh, should she's, I be worried about my uncle? She's pretty or smart. Thinking this? No, you should be worried. I would be worried. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, 
Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. You're welcome. Oh, Alright, let's go. A few moments later. Could this be Mr. Oaks's camp? Sidewalks loyalists. Just ahead. Should I take them by force or be described? I already made my choice. Oh. Protego. Oof. I I tried to hold the button and it didn't work. Ow. Oof. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's not who I was aiming at. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will read Mr. Oates's trade journal. Hmm. See if we can find anything else. Open the chest. Ooh. Nothing else over here except for that wall. Two thousand years later. A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Crooked tree. Guess it's probably further down. Ah! So this is where we're supposed to go. And I'm going to show you on the map because it was kind of a pain in the ass to find this place. Right over here. So I'm not really sure where. I think it was somewhere over here that we started. But then you follow the river and then go all the way down here. Now let's. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Go up a little more. Eh. If they want to be sneaky hmm. here, I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Hmm. Not the best place for an unaccompanied student. All right, higher up in the tower. Let's go all the way to the top. Now oh, here's a sad looking place. This is a waste of my talents. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. How nice of you to stop by. Hmm. Ah. Right. Think you're clever, don't you? And it's Soda! I've never I seen a world oh. 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 And I ran into him there. Okay. Get it. 
truly. Descender. Descender. Bombarda. Ah. Actually, I didn't mean to use that potion. What will we find in here? This is where we're supposed to go, right? <laughs> I really hope so. Goblins will finally rule. Who is it? Arrest the momentum. Come quiet. Protego, stupid one. I'll bury you in the deepest vault. Stupid one. Defender. Looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Uh, where is he? Revelio. Heads of lettuce, those mushrooms. Arrest the momentum. Defend them. Potato. It broke my defense. Bombard them. Your little magic tricks won't distract me. Defend them. That student defeated my defense. Potato. Damn it. Descender. Ah. There's some more stuff back here. Confringo. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, ha. Huh. Clever. Revelio. Chess. All righty. Back to the other side. There's some other stuff up here to collect too. A boiler door. How to open it? What door? Oh. Well. I'd imagine we need to do something with something somewhere. <laughs> His wand. I guess. I guess he can't just use my wand, huh? That'd be too easy. I already saw the boiler door. I just don't know how to open it. Wait. Okay. I thought. Rebellion. Okay. There's nothing behind it. Sometimes there's stuff behind those boxes. Alright, now I'll figure out how to open this thing. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Did 
This looks like it's connected. It has the same pipes. Good for you. That open the door, or is it just the first lock? Oh, yep, it opened the door. Good. One way or another, we'll get what we're. Uh, uh, fuckers. Don't dis disapparate or apparate behind me. Ah. I got stuck. Ah. Smack you around like the Hulk real quick. Ah, you fucker. Fucker. Not what I wanted to do. Alrighty. Where is that wand? This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Come on and get out. You did it! I found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. What did he overhear? You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against Wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them, and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. 
The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ramrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. That's fucked up. You speak gobbledygook. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having Good. my mom back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Alrighty. Mr. I guess uh, we just get out of here. Would never have freed him. Let's uh, continue on to the next quest. I think we're going to we have time for one or two more. This one was longer than your average quest. <laughs> oh, this is just like what we did in uh, charms class. All right, this is a good way to end out the video with something fun. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in Charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? Bring it. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. Oh, I will. Don't worry about that. Accio. Oh, I let go too soon. Damn it. I was hoping he was going to hit mine. Nothing to it. For that one, ha. Oh, I just gave him more points. I'm an idiot. That was one for the ages. Akio. Oh, he knocked his own back. Nice. That was my chance to seize the lead. Don't want. Akio. Yes. I'll let you have that one. Well done. You I crushed you. Bit of good luck. That's all. I don't need to be upset. <laughs> Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine. You're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. Damn. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Oh, that'd be mean. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Alrighty. Well, that's it for the side quest for today. Well, that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? But in the next episode, we're going to be continue on with the main story. I'm not sure which one yet because there's two, but uh, we might be able to get to them both in the next episode. We'll see. It all depends on how fast it takes to beat it, you know?
But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. No matter what, I'm gonna put up a fight. Damn right, I gotta survive. Moving through the dark, trying to make it to the light. Can't be caught slipping, I won't be dead by day.